Hey, brothers and sisters, it's Pastor Tim Henderson. Well, Jaden is now in bed, but before he went to bed, we did prayer time, and he says, Zadie, blow your shofar. So um, I'm sounding the alarm, and I figured I'd bring it over. This is my personal, my favorite, my ram's horn. Um, shofars are not that easy to blow. I've had trumpet players in the church say, oh, let me try, let me try, and they can't do it. I, I'm not sure why, but uh, but I love my personal shofar. It's, it's a heritage. We don't do it because we have to or for religious reasons, but with my children, I do it. I also, some of you have noticed the, the antelope horn, and sometimes I'll, I'll blow that too, but you should see Jaden and Peter trying to blow the shofar, and we just have... I have fun with it when I teach on the Bible stories and um, praise God. So I wanted to get on in sounding the alarm and talk about there have been lots of questions. I've been sharing with you that, in fact, some rabbis in Israel, some well-known rabbis, have said that Messiah would be revealed during Purim. 2019. That's March 20th and 21st. Now, I know there are videos out there that say that it's actually Passover in March. Listen, I'm not going to debate that. I'm telling you that the rabbis and the folks in Israel are believing that group, that Messiah will be revealed during Purim. Tomorrow, I'll be teaching on Purim and the significance with tribulation period. There are several things that are happening. I don't know whether any of those will come to pass. I'm just reporting to you what's being said. So you have rabbis, significant well-known rabbis in Israel, Orthodox, saying Messiah will be revealed during Purim this year. Along with that, you have a very well-known scholar the past few days who came out in Israel and did an article and said the real villain of Purim is not Haman, but he pointed to Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Messiah, Jesus Christ, the son of a carpenter and from Bethlehem. That, that was his article. So while you have the rabbi saying Messiah is going to be revealed, that's not Jesus. That would be the Antichrist. You have another scholar coming out and doing a wholesale rejection of Jesus, and in fact, doing what the Pharisees did and attributing evil to him. Then there is a supermoon on March 20th, so you've got a third significant thing, and I'm just reporting to you, you're, I, I'm not making up the supermoon, I'm not making up any of these things. Additionally, whether this is true or not, whether it happens or not, you do have, and some of you have asked me, you do have scientists that are predicting a major, major, up to a 9.0 earthquake that will impact, they're saying, the West Coast, the, the uh, New Madrid fault line, the West Coast of, of the United States, also Mexico and South America. That's what they're predicting, whether that happens or not. But isn't it interesting that all of these things are pointing toward March 20th and 21st? I'll tell you what, I will never set a day nor an hour, but we are clearly in the season. And that is a high watch time. Why do I say that? You have the peace plan that is supposed to come out after the Israel elections on April 9th. Uh, you have on May 14th, Israel will celebrate its 71st year, the beginning of its 71st year in existence. And you have these other things that are going on. Brothers and sisters, we are in a very high watch time. So what do we do with that? Well, we rejoice. We look up for our redemption draws nigh. We also occupy and redeem the time. Now, I shared recently about um, a dream or vision of a major catastrophe where I see in America. So we're just, we're going, we're, we're going to meet our bridegroom very, very, very soon. I'm just sounding the alarm. 
And again, I will not set a day or an hour. Some people say, well, you are. Some will say it could be in a thousand years. No, it can't. Based on the season we're in and what the Bible has told us, no, it can't. We are in that season and it is very, very, very soon. I know many of you can sense that and would confirm that in your spirit. I'm excited. I'm excited. It's very, very, very soon. Well, God bless you. I'll be on tomorrow. I'll be teaching, um, doing a Bible study. Also, I will be bringing the world news updates and wow, the things that are going on in the world. Unbelievable. Well, God bless you. Have an awesome rest of your day wherever you are in the world. And I'm just I, I want you to know that God loves you fiercely and passionately. I love you too. And for those who know my adorable grandson, Jaden, he said, Zadie, he actually, he wanted me to sound the, to blow the shofar. And he said, I should do it for my friends as well. And I believe he was talking about you, this family on this channel. So if you're getting ready for bed, I pray you have sweet dreams and, and his angels surround you. And if you're going through your day, I pray the joy of the Lord is your strength and his angels surround you and protect you. Shalom.